morning guys we've got a nice little easy project today little drill press mounted spindle sander now you're going to want something along these lines when we start getting into pistol grip builds down the line they make light work of putting in finger grooves any larger radiuses it's surprising what you can hog off with one of these and the dust extraction as well is surprisingly good so less waffling let's get stuck in i've got some supplies a couple of lengths of eight mil diameter stainless rod 608 bearings these are commonly skateboard bearings they've got an eight mil bore 22 mil outside diameter and seven mil thick a few little off cuts of birch ply again I've got some offcuts of hardwood. I borrowed the little dust extraction port from the little palm router. A selection of sanding belts, which I'll chop up and affix them around the drums themselves. And then some stock board. This is just gonna be stood up behind the drum sander just to catch any dust that the dust extractor doesn't catch. So quite straightforward and simple. I've set the low board now into the drill press. I'm going to drill two eight mil holes evenly spaced from each end. The centers of these will match the centers of the rail here. So it was a good idea. It was a good opportunity to show you again how to use a little stop block setup. So I can drill this one. This left hand will be free then to get the vacuum in here. Once I've drilled the first one, I can literally unclamp this, flip it over, and then I'll get the same evenly spaced hole this end once it's down here. Okay, I've just slid my rail nuts into the rails. I've added a couple of counter bores just to drop the fixings below the surface. So this bearing will be recessed in. I'm going to drill a 22 mil hole, the seven, just over the seven mil depth of that, and then I'll come back and I'll drill right the way through the board with a 16 just to give me some additional clearance on the underside. Okay, that's that drilled that's perfect that's it's just below the surface which is what I wanted it's a nice fit in there but it's easy enough to remove when I'm swapping over the drums themselves that's great these are going to be the drums so I'm going to mark the centers of these I'm going to drill right down through the center of them with an 8 mil drill bit then I'm going to chuck them up in the lathe once I've glued them onto the stainless rods and that will then allow me to round them off now a lathe is a bit of a luxury for a small shed but you could trim as much off as you can maybe with the saw or band saw once you've actually got the spindles through the center of them there's no reason why you couldn't just chuck them up in the drill and round them off with a rasp or something similar it, you just need to think work with what tools you've got Got the vacuum. Nice one. I really do need to change this silly flipping out over for a bolt. It wasn't the easiest thing to get to even before I put the drill like the drill press table on. We're through. We're a little bit squiffy, but when I round that off in the lathe, that'll all be good. Let's 
Right, I'll let that dry and I'll go get a cup of tea. Right, they've come out lovely. I've just marked the way that they were going to rotate in the drill. What I'm going to do now is cut a couple of shallow little slots in here, and then with the chisel, I'm going to knock an edge off of there. So when I overlap the sandpaper, I don't get a big ridge where the two edges overlap. So pop it in the vise. See if I can't cut my hands off. Now to prep the sand paper to go around them. Got myself a little dowel. All right, I'll leave that like that and I'll catch up with you later on. Depending on the type of abrasives that you've got, you can either just simply double-sided tape them on. If you've got smaller bobbins, you can even use adhesive back to Velcro. This works really well if you've got hook and loop type papers. You can literally just stick them on. I use a lot of these, especially in the drill, as in the hand drill, battery drill, for getting in little crevices and stuff. Again, very simple, but for these larger ones, having it supported in the pillar drill means you can get a bit more pressure on it. it takes a bit of pressure off your wrists and also it allows some better dust extraction than trying to just do it with a normal drill. Okay, so this is just going to be the backboard that sits behind the drill press table. This is actually just going to be there really just to catch any excess dust. Now this is stock board, it's a recycled plastic material. If you give this a really good rub over with a cloth, it gets a bit static and any of the fine dust actually stick to this quite well so it will stop it from flinging all over the back and it will do a fair job of catching any of them little fine bits that the dust extractor on the drums doesn't get so I've just drilled two 8mm holes as usual for my fixings that will take the rail nuts into the back of the fence just going to pop them in the back and I'll go and fit that to the drill press table now Right, I've screwed the base down. You can see here I've just screwed down the little dust extraction port. I ended up making a little foam gasket so it seals up a bit nicer on there. Bearings pushed onto the end of the spindle. Now, of course, you can make these in all different lengths, different sizes, different diameters, all different grips on there of your abrasive. Now, what I like to do, set that in there, drop that down. and lock that in position. Right, so that's ready for a little test run now. You can see where I've screwed down the little dust extraction port. Little off cut here. Now these are absolutely brilliant for shaping grips and the likes. 
just because this has got a narrow diameter by shaping it and adjusting the angle that this sits on the actual drum itself you can change that radius so although it's only 22 mil wide you can shape a much larger curve than that The dust extraction works pretty well to be honest, you don't actually need the sandpaper to go right down into extraction port, it draws a little vortex type thing and it draws it all down, but perfect for shaping in finger grooves, anything like that if you're working on grips, if you need to cut radiuses into anything. Now this will clean up quite easily with a little rubber cleaning thing. I'll show you. As good as new. That paper will last quite a while, it won't actually need to be replaced particularly often. That works a treat. I'll see you in the next one.